Hello everybody. It's either a good morning, good afternoon or a good evening, whichever part of the planet you're on. And uh, what I'm doing today then, I'm having a little break from my steam locomotive that I'm building. Not a, not a big break, just a small break. And what you can see in front of you here is a bit of British history. And it's a, it's a piece of, uh, what, what it is, my son-in-law is a civil engineer and they were up in Sheffield and they were digging, digging ground out to lay a new pedestrianised area and a new road and they came across this. And what it is, it's a piece of old horse-driven tram track from roughly round about the 1890s that's when Queen Victoria were on throne. So this this track here has been pulling trams on it, horse driven trams. Now if you take a look up if you take a look on the internet and type in Sheffield and type in tramways, I'm sure you'll come up with a with a clip of that if you're interested. Now for anybody that don't know UK very well, Sheffield, it's in South Yorkshire and it's more or less smack, back in, smack bang in the middle of the UK, more or less. So a little bit of history there for you, when Queen Victoria were on the throne that's when that were made. And uh, what I'm proposing to do, now you might think I'm a bit of a masochist here, but our Prime Minister Boris Johnson has got, his, got us all in lockdown with this coronavirus problem that's circulating the world. And we can only go out once a day for a bit of exercise or to fetch essential food. So I thought, being as I'm not doing so much exercise and walking and cycling, I'll break off my steam loco and I'm going to do a bit of cardiovascular work. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hacksaw this manually to trim the ends up, to square them up. Then I'm going to skim it up on my milling machine and, and give it a general clean up. And I'm going to use it as an anvil in my workshop. Then, then I can say to all my visitors that come and see me, I'm working on a bit of British history, I suppose. And just for the record, I'm using Speed Sheffield England 18 teeth hacksaw blades. New old stock, I don't even know if they're in existence anymore. Very good hacksaw blades them. So it's a Sheffield hacksaw blade cut in a Sheffield tram track. Right, that's one side done. I'm going to go for a lie down and come back and do the other side. Well, 
They knew how to make hacksaw blades in Sheffield. I'll say that for them. Better than rubbish you buy these days. Right, I'm going to go ahead now and chip all the loose rust off and probably get the wire wheel and uh, my grinder outside and just tidy all rust up. Seven inch long, seven inch across the bottom, four inch across the top where the track is and the middle bit was inch and a half, inch and a quarter thick to saw through.